Hello, this is a quick video recording of Life is Strange. Um, I'm playing it on the Alienware Alpha i3 um, with 8GB of RAM. Not the most graphically intensive game, but uh, it does look pretty. Um, I downloaded episode 1 to have a go myself, um, and I thought I'd record a video and, and share the results in case anyone was interested. Um, so, default settings uh, set it at 1080. Uh, obviously um, and then I've pushed everything um, to maximum um, it was at medium um, don't think it should be needed um, I'll have a look if it if it decide if it struggles a bit um, I'll turn it down but the menu uh, background there is the in-game graphics so and it's it's looking at 70 so it should be okay but um, let's have a quick go and have a look and see how the game looks. I have played this on the PS4, um, just the first episode, um, but I thought I'd give it a go on the PC, see if I enjoy it a bit more as a, a point and click. And then if it's on a, a Steam sale, um, maybe worth a purchase if I enjoy it. I did turn VSync off, I normally have um, it off, but I normally go full screen borderless. And it might be worth switching to that if I see some screen tearing. The game looks pretty good. Wait, um, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it's it. Like 45 there. plus with everything on Please maximum. Let me make it there. Um, seems pretty good. There's only the controls. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's look around with the mouse um, and then it's uh, WASD to walk. Lighthouse. Seems to run quite smoothly. Um, I probably wouldn't choose to turn it down. I'd be happy with that. It seems to be high 50s, jumping into 60. I guess I'm going to sit on the bench watch the world go by, or uh, to oh, a giant vortex sick. into the middle of the sea. It's not good. Jump. Whoa. That was so yeah, surreal. School. Right, I'm going to continue uh, playing the uh, the rest of the episode one, the demo. Okay. Um, if you class. find the video useful, give me a like, cool. give me a comment, um, okay. and uh, to shadow. I hope you enjoy the From rest of the gameplay. Goodbye. Kiroskiro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Isn't that too easy? 
too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laugh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't wait. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. Hi, Kate. Oh. I don't want anybody to feel Hi, Max. from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. You I seem quiet today. Eye, just thinking too much. I only right. want to share whatever gifts I have. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pres- Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist 
from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying through. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking... You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. 
What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. In I already world. heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now to Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy. Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now, it. Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. In black and white. Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of When I took my selfie, Jefferson like asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. What kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom Once quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me what after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process. and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you.
Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's payday? Don't even tease me. You know I don't tease. I, know. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> because if you send me a picture, I won't be bored. You suck. I feel like a ghost to these kids. They barely see me. I can't let that girl die in the bathroom. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Browser, it's happening again. I need a hammer me. to break it open. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. 
So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. 